so in this lecture we are going to study what are uh, ring isomorphisms okay so let us uh, quickly define what is a ring isomorphism so ring isomorphism is the same as a group uh, isomorphism first of all it should be a, a ring homomorphism okay means phi of x plus y must be equal to phi x plus phi y and second is phi of x dot y should be equal to phi x dot dash ray plus dash phi y whatever the operations of r1 and r2 are okay it should be a ring homomorphism second it should be what it should be one one homomorphism and it should also be a onto homomorphism so if the ring homomorphism is one one and onto then uh, it will become a ring isomorphism okay so let us now go to uh, what is meant by a commutative ring okay we will first define these terminologies and then we will take problems okay so what is a commutative uh, ring so you know with respect to multiplication if this happens a dot b is equal to b dot a okay so then with respect to the second operation the set must be commutative you know that a ring is always abelian abelian group abelian group with respect to which operation with respect to the first operation so a plus b will be always equal to b plus a so that is the definition of ring itself but if you want a ring to be uh, abelian with respect to the second operation then that ring will be called as a commutative ring okay now we will not say abelian ring okay this uh, this we will not say if i want that the operation second operation this second operation is dot with respect to that operation if uh, the thing is a dot b equal to b dot a holds for all a b then such rings i will be calling as commutative rings so not all rings are commutative rings remember this okay not all rings are commutative so there are co non commutative rings also we will see some examples of non commutative rings also okay the third important definition that we have to do in this lecture is what is meant by a ring with unity okay now this is a new word for as far as the rings uh, chapter is concerned so what is meant by a unity in a ring so we know that there are two operations one is operation plus and other operation is multiplication okay with respect to multiplication operation if i can find an element okay if i can find an element e uh, le let me not call that element e if i can find an element uh, e dash okay that e dash must be such that a dot e dash must be equal to again a so with respect to multiplication this person is working as an as an identity with respect to the multiplication operation that person will be called as unity okay so and what is e e is the e is the identity with respect to the addition operation so this e is called as identity when you get an identity with respect to addition operation we will call it identity same like groups but if you get a identity with respect to multiplication operation then it is not called identity then we will start calling it what then we will start calling it unity so now i hope the difference between identity and unity is clear identity is a identity with respect to addition operation unity is identity with respect to which operation with respect to the multiplication operation so these three definitions are very important for us let me take one simple example so that it will be clear to you okay so let me take the ring to be z plus dot okay so first question is it is it a commutative ring means is a dot b a multiplied by b equal to b multiplied by a commutative means remember commutative means with respect to the 
second operation so is this true yes this is true so this this ring is commutative ring what is the identity of the ring who is the identity in this ring identity means with respect to which operation identity means with respect to the addition operation who is the identity identity is zero third who is the unity of the ring unity means identity with respect to which operation with respect to multiplication operation so who is the identity who is the unity of this particular ring the unity is one because a plus zero is always a so e becomes zero and a into one becomes a so this means the unity will become multiplication operation okay let me take one more example suppose i take set is we know that m2r is a ring okay this is a ring we have done in the previous lecture we have done mnr is ring so so mnr is a ring so is this a ring yes first of all this is a ring first question is this a commutative ring is, is this commutative is a dot b equal to b dot a does this property hold for all matrices for all a b does this hold no so this is not necessarily so this means that m2r is which type of a ring is a non commutative ring okay what is the identity element of this ring identity means identity with respect to addition so who is identity it is nothing but the zero matrix okay zero matrix any matrix plus zero matrix is the same matrix third what is the unity of this particular link unity means with respect to multiplication obviously unity will become the identity matrix which is one zero zero one because any matrix multiplied by i will again give you the same matrix so this will be a ring okay if i take one ring a very special ring suppose i take a ring let me take 2z 2z means all even numbers all, all even integers okay first question is it a ring second is it commutative ring can we say that it's a commutative ring what is the identity of this particular ring and fourth is what is the unity of this particular ring so is it a ring first of all yes because we know 2z forms an abelian group okay all uh, all uh, all subgroups of z are given by nz and therefore it's an abelian group associativity distributivity closure with respect to multiplication all holds so this will become a ring because with respect to multiplication if i take two even numbers and if i multiply them i will again get an even number a into b into c if i look it will be a into b to c what about distributivity in even numbers all a b c are even numbers then this is also true so very quickly i can at least say that this particular thing is what this is a ring so yes it's a ring what about commutativity commutativity if i take two even, even numbers four and six is it the same as commutative with respect to multiplication okay four into six is same as six into four so similarly for all integers even integers a into b will be equal to what b into a so yes this particular ring is a commutative ring okay what is the identity element of this ring remember identity should be inside the set okay it should not be outside the set who is the identity element zero zero is identity because any even number plus zero zero is also even right this is also even so this will give you the same number so so identity of this set is what zero and it is inside the set yes good so so it is also an element of two then what is the unity which number should i multiply to any number so that i will get the same number back so if i give you four so four should be multiplied by what so that i will get again four this four will this element must be even number okay it should belong to two z so this means that uh, e the only choice left with me is what e is equal to one but this even this is not an even number right so one minute so this is not an even number right so this means that this 2z plus dot is a 
commutative ring and what is the problem in this commutative ring it is without unity okay without unity so what is my conclusion from all these above things that you can find a ring okay you will be able to find a ring which is what which is commutative but it does not have a unity so my conclusion is that there are there are rings with uh, there are rings without unity so it is not necessary that a ring must contain a unity so you may have rings which do not contain unity what is that example this is a very famous example do not forget this example the ring is 2z with respect to addition and multiplication okay so now let us see some simple true false exercises okay L look at this particular so we have covered this let us look at the first thing every ring must contain a unity is this uh is this is, is this correct so obviously this is uh, false okay why because what is the example in your mind because 2z is a ring but it does not contains unity okay has no unity second in a ring every element must possess a multiplicative inverse okay so for example now why this statement is uh, is it true or false first of all that is a question okay so every ring let me say b part every ring must have what multiplicative inverse is this statement true or false so i will say fine i will look in the same ring 2z okay and uh, in this ring 2z i will consider an element suppose 4 so 4 into which person will uh, give me what okay let me not even take 2z let me just take z okay let me take 4 into what should i take so that i will get who is the unity of 4 of z it is 1 so 4 into which element will give me 1 so i know that this uh, person has to be integer right this is also integer this is also integer and this is a I, this is a unity of z so here i know that i cannot find such a number so in this case this statement will become false okay so every ring in a ring a multiplicative inverse always need not exist additive inverse will always exist but multiplicative inverses need not exist so this is obviously false and what is the example for that z plus dot and you take element a to be equal to 4 which has no inverse now next is q plus dot is a commutative ring we know that it is already a ring this we have done is it commutative is if i multiply two rational numbers a and b will it give me the same answer as b and b into a yes so this q plus dot is also a commutative ring and therefore we know that r complex number z all these rings are what they are all commutative rings the next question is you take a phi which is a map from real numbers to real numbers so this is a ring again sorry so this is a, a ring of real numbers this is also a ring of real numbers and what map are you going to define the map you is going to define is phi of x e is equal to 2x is this a ring homomorphism now this is again a very important question so if i take phi from real numbers to real numbers and what is the function that i'm going to define i'm going to define phi of x is equal to how much i'm going to define phi of x is equal to 2x is this a ring homomorphism okay at a very first glance you may think that yes it is obviously a ring homomorphism but there is a problem okay if i take phi of uh, x plus y the first operation is addition phi of x plus y will become what 2 of x plus y which is equal to 2x plus 2y and 2x plus 2y is nothing but what 5x plus 5y so this means with respect to addition there is no problem what happens with respect to multiplication what is phi of xy phi of xy is 2 times xy uh, and this is not equal to 2x into 2y in general right so this need not be true because it is 2 times and here 2 into 2 will become how much 4 so in general phi of uh, xy 
need not be equal to 5x into 5y. So this means that this particular phi is not a ring homomorphism. Okay. So I hope this uh, so answer is clear to you now. Okay. Let me move to the next one. So the next one was uh, fifth one. 2z is a ring with unity. Now 2z is a ring with unity. This is clearly false because we know that 2z is the ring which was an example for us which was a ring without unity so this example is this is false because e equal to 1 does not belong to the set 2z therefore this is obviously false the earlier answer is also false okay okay so now let us go to the next uh, 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 question this information must be known to you that what are the all ring homomorphisms from z to z so if i am trying to search for all homomorphisms from z to z okay what are those uh, homomorphisms now you know from your group theory that any homomorphism which is a group homomorphism so which type of homomorphism you want to find you want to find a ring homomorphism so what are the group homomorphisms from uh, z to z in your group theory course we have shown that any group homomorphism must be looking of what form it must be of the form ax where a is some integer clearly this homomorphism this is a group homomorphism because phi of x plus y is equal to a times x plus y which is a x plus a y okay and uh, that is equal to what that is phi x plus phi y so group homomorphism it is true now this homomorphism is this a ring homomorphism okay is this going to work as my ring homomorphism so i will check what is phi of x into y and is it equal to phi of x into phi of y so this what is phi of x y by this definition it is a times x y correct and what is phi x phi x is a x what is phi y phi y is a y so this means that a x y must be equal to what a square x y right so this x y is common between both of them so this means that a and a square uh, have to be the same if i want this to be same if we want this to be equal okay then this a and a square uh, must be what then this a and a square must be actually equal so uh, to get a ring homomorphism what is the condition a must be equal to a square and what are those integers what integers will i choose so that a and a square will be will become equal obviously if i choose a equal to 0 then 0 is equal to 0 square will hold if a is equal to 1 then 1 is also equal to 1 square i cannot take a equal to minus 1 because minus 1 is not equal to 1 square okay so what are the choices for me left here the choices left are only a must be what a must be 0 and a must be 1 so this means that we have only it it clearly means that we have only two homomorphisms what are the two homomorphisms first homomorphism is ax which is 0x means it is 0 so the first homomorphism phi 1 i will say is a 0 homomorphism and second homomorphism must be phi of x is equal to ax where a is 1 so this will be 1x means phi of x is equal to identity so this means that the second homomorphism is the identity function which is phi of x is equal to x so how many hom ring homomorphisms you get from z to z the number of ring homomorphisms are two okay so two ring homomorphisms so this so this question uh, might be asked in a, if i try to ask an objective question of uh, this thing how many homomorphisms how many ring homomorphisms do you get from z to z so the answer to that question is two ring homomorphisms okay now if i go to the next question i'm going to uh, find how many ring homomorphisms can i find from z to z cross z okay let us see that so let me just write it so question is suppose i have phi which is from z to z cross z and how many ring homomorphisms am i going to get okay now on the similar lines what i will do is i will try uh, try to say that phi of uh, n is equal to what you know on this on the same lines we want that a square is equal to a so we will take four homomorphism which is first first is take n comma zero 
as soon as i write n comma 0 here i will write 0 comma n i hope you understand that why am i not writing phi of n is equal to 2n or comma 0 because I, I, we know that this 2 is not going to work in the above example we know that either a should be 0 or a should be 1 so if i write here an an what are the choices of a the choices of a is that choose a equal to 0 choose a equal to 1 or choose a equal to 1 then choose a equal to 0 then choose a equal to 1 and 1 for both the cases and choose a equal to 0 0 for both the cases because a is allowed only how much 0 and 1 okay so that gives me a hint that the homomorphisms the ring homomorphisms should be of what type the ring homomorphism should be n comma 0 here i have chosen a is 1 for the first coordinate and for the second coordinate a is 0 what is the second ring homomorphism it must be 0 comma n third homomorphism is what i will choose it a equal to 1 and 1 so it will be 1 n comma n and third homomorphism is sorry fourth homomorphism is if i choose a equal to 0 in both the cases i am going to get the zero homomorphism so a is zero in the first coordinate also a is zero so what is the general homomorphism that i am trying to tell you general homomorphism is of the form an comma an where what is what are the choices of a a can be either zero or so we get four homomorphisms ring homomorphisms let me specify it okay four ring homomorphisms from what z to z cross Z. Okay. If I go for the next one, uh, I'm going to look at uh, rings 2Z and Z. Okay. We now know that 2Z is also a ring and 2Z Z is also ring. So what is this? Uh, this question saying us that if I look at 2Z and Z as groups, if I view them as groups, okay, Z is a group, 2Z is also a group. If I look them as groups, then they are isomorphic. But if I look them as rings. then they are not isomorphic okay so this is again a very important statement uh, that you might get in options if i ask an objective question that z and 2z are isomorphic groups z and 2z are non isomorphic groups z and 2z are isomorphic rings z and 2z are non isomorphic rings so here you should know what is the actual situation between z and 2z okay z and 2z if i simply look a map for z and 2z what is that map that map is 5fx is equal to how much is equal to 2x this map is clearly a homomorphism it is 1 1 and it is also on 2 so this means that phi is a group isomorphism correct and therefore z is isomorphic to 2z as what as groups but this phi map z from 2z given by phi of x is equal to 2x okay this is not a ring homomorphism correct why it is not a ring homomorphism because phi of xy is 2xy which is not equal to 2x into 2y because this is 4xy so this means that this is not a ring homomorphism if it is not a ring homomorphism i will note uh, there is no need to check is it 1 1 or 1 2 this means that phi is not ring homomorphism and therefore it cannot be a ring isomorphism therefore we conclude that z and 2z are isomorphic groups okay if i look them as groups they are isomorphic but z and 2z are not isomorphic as rings okay okay so now let us look at this uh, these three things so first so this is actually uh, i am i'm going to start defining what is meant by fields actually okay so we are slowly moving towards field that is why the title is fields okay so uh, let, let us look at the first uh, question this first question is also an important thing to identify whether a ring is commutative or not commutative so what is it saying if a square a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b if such a thing happens then the ring has to be a commutative ring now you have been using this formula a plus uh, uh, that a square minus b square is equal to how much 
a plus b into a minus b okay so if if this is given to me suppose this is given to me okay this all of us know that this is always true right or we have an impression that this is always true but remember that this is not always true okay you will understand the importance of this formula now in your school days you have been using this formula but this is uh, this formula need not be true in general for any space okay so suppose a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b then i must be able to prove that r is what r is a commutative ring now you will you will say sir uh, how will i assume this because this uh, this is always true according to me no so just look at this calculation it is a square minus b square is equal to what apply here here you see that uh, here if you look at this a plus b into a minus b i will write it more carefully in 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 the words of ring you know that ring has only two operations addition and what multiplication so here i am using addition a plus b and then i have multiplication then i am writing what a minus b now what is minus who is minus minus of a or minus of b means what inverse of b with respect to addition okay so this is nothing but a plus of what a plus of minus b actually it is like this means who is this minus b this minus b is nothing but inverse of b with respect to the addition operation now i will apply distributivity here so if i apply distributivity i will multiply this to the first person and then i will multiply this to the second person can i use distributivity yes i can use because we are in a ring so this will become a plus b dot a plus then a plus b multiplied by what minus b now again i will apply here distributivity so this will be a into a plus b into a right then here i will apply minus b into a and what about here i will get minus b that will be at plus of minus b into b okay so this a into a will be called as a square this will become b a this will become minus b a and this will become minus b square okay and this is what this is a square minus b square so by left cancellation law and right cancellation law what will i get i will get it zero is equal to who is zero zero is the identity with respect to the addition operation is equal to what a b a so this actually a square a square b square b square gets cancelled by left and right cancellation law so i'll get b a minus uh, this was ab sorry b into this is a into minus b i'm sorry i did a mistake here this is a into minus b i cannot change the order so this is minus ab so b a minus ab and therefore what am i going to get here i'm going to get here that ab is equal to how much b a this holds for all ab okay so if r is commutative then uh, what will happen then uh, how can i prove that a plus uh, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b now that is i hope you have clear idea so a square minus b square cannot be solved but if i try to solve the right hand side a plus b into a minus b will become what a into a i am using distributivity okay then minus ab then plus ba and minus b square okay and i know that the ring is commutative so this and this will go away and therefore you will directly get a square minus b square so if the ring is commutative we can directly say that ab is equal to ba and therefore this factor will cancel out so this will mean that uh, whenever the ring is commutative the uh, a square minus b square will be equal to a plus b into a minus b and the converse will also be true so this is if and only if remember this condition is if and only if. so you may get an objective constructive to that the next is theorem which is zrs is equal to zr cross zs it is same as groups this uh, this result was also done in group theory for that what must be the condition on uh, r and s the condition on r and s must be that r and s must be what relatively prime to each other so this means that uh, if i am asked that uh, z3 cross z11 is isomorphic to uh, which which ring so i can say that 3 and 11 are relatively prime their gcd is how much the gcd is 1 so this is isomorphic to what z33 